You know I can't control And I'm, I already have the class set up here. Uh, if you want to go ahead and do this on your own, you can. Uh, like I said, if maybe... If you want to, uh, if you want to go ahead...
So in this video, we are going to be looking at Grid versus Flexbox. Now, in the previous section, we looked at Flexbox as a whole. We looked at all of the different container properties. We also looked at some of the other properties that we can use on our items. But today, we're going to be looking at a different type of, well, layout property, and that is Grid. So before we get started, I'm going to give a little introduction to Grid and what it actually is.
define the style that we want to use for our website well the number of rows and columns that we want manually and create the exact style that we want to divide up all our elements so what we're going to be doing is using two special properties that we can go ahead and use and what this is going to do is allow us to split up our grid into a specified number of rows and columns which is such a pretty easy to learn. Our grid, template columns, and rows. Don't forget about areas for now, we don't need to know them. Um, now what we're gonna do is set up our grid template columns first. So instead of doing something where we would be taking a function or something, this is actually set up in a really nice and elegant way. And all we have to do is type out the sizes that we want and based on the number of sizes or values that we input, it will decide the number of rows that we want. So, I'll give you an example here. Let's just say I wanted the first row to be 10 pixels wide, which is pretty small. Um, and then I wanted the second one to be 50 pixels, and the third one to be 10 pixels again. So what we're pretty much doing here is setting up, setting it up so that we have three columns. <laughs>
August 15, Harvard University's introduction to the intellect.
doesn't get this term, you might have heard too, an algorithm, which is just step-by-step -step instructions for solving some problem, incarnated in the world of computers by software. When you write software, aka programs, you are implementing one or more algorithms, one or more step, uh, sets of instructions for solving some problem. Programming languages exist, but most of them have what we might call functions. Thank you.